Hi there, I'm Kira. Welcome back to the channel. So today's tutorial is on side crow, parjva bakasin. This arm balance is considered to be a progression from crow pose, bakasin. So if you don't feel confident in your crow pose, I highly recommend that you revisit my crow tutorial on the channel, which will give you the basics that'll be very useful here. That being said, I have had students not feel confident in their crow and be able to pop right up into a side crow. So it really depends. The thing about side crow is it involves a lot of deep twisting. So we're gonna dive right into this tutorial. So before we do, just make sure that you warm up with a lot of twists, that you warm up your hips because we'll be squatting in this position, and that you also warm up your shoulders and your wrists. All you'll need for today is one yoga block. I'm so glad you're here. If you like these videos, please subscribe to the channel and like and comment below so I know what you wanna see more of. I'll see you on the mat. Side crow, here we go. So this first time through, I recommend you just watch what I'm doing so you can get a sense of the mechanics of the pose, and then I'll invite you to try it with me. Okay, so side crow begins in a squat, much like crow with the feet together, we're on the balls of the feet. So the first step in the process is a deep twist. So I'm just gonna demonstrate this on my right side for the purposes of this. So we're gonna walk the hands over to the right, and the next step is planting the hands down, just like you would for plank. So shoulder width distance, spreading the shoulder blades apart. And then from here, turn the eyes of your elbows forward, okay? So that when we bend the elbows, they go straight back. And then we're gonna think about trying to connect the outside of the back hip to the right arm. And then the thigh, like that meaty part right above the knee, to the front arm, which is my left arm in this case. So I'm gonna feel for those two points of contact, which requires a deep, deep twist. Once I have that going on, if I don't have that going on, that's where I gotta stay and work until I achieve that piece. So from here, I'm gonna lift my hips and then I'm gonna to start to lean forward until my feet float up. So I'm pulling my legs together like one leg, pulling the feet closer to my bum, pulling my chest forward, broadening my shoulder blade. So I'm using my core to hold myself here. And now when I first started doing side crow, a lot of the time it just looked like this. It was like this break dancery <laughs> face plant situation. So just know that that might be part of your learning curve as you learn to counterbalance the weight of your head and your hips in this pose. It's kind of like a seesaw. So let's try it, shall we? <laughs> Grab one of your blocks. If you've never done this pose before, it can be helpful to give your crow a perch, just like we did in my crow tutorial, if you watched that one. Okay, so let's get into it. You're gonna place your block down, step your feet on top of it, so that you come into that nice little squatty position. Little squat on the balls of the feet. So we'll do it step by step. We're gonna walk the hands over to the right, plant them down as we would for plank pose. So the hands are shoulder width distance, eyes of the elbows roll forward. Now watch for the knees splaying apart. You really wanna think of connecting your legs like you have one leg in this shape because it makes you more compact. So from here, try to connect your back hip to the back arm. Okay, so you're gonna try to get those two points of contact going on and then lean the thigh into the front arm. And then you're gonna lean forward until the feet float up, pull the heels towards the bum, pull your chest forward and grip the mat with your little claw hands and then come out of it. So you may find that this perch is useful or it gets in your way. In that case, I felt like it's sort of gotten my way but it can help give you that sense of elevation if you're newer to arm balancing. So take a couple of wrist circles, just let all that 
sink in. There's a lot of steps to this, so do not feel like it's gonna happen the first time you try it. If it does, hallelujah. If it doesn't, that's what your practice is for. So I just wanna address one thing. I demonstrated a modified side crow where we're connecting the hips to the arms with two points of contact. Traditionally in side crow, all of the weight is on that back arm. The front arm is floating free. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. We do everything we just did, but all the weight goes onto that back hip. Front arm floats free, really pulling elbows together. Okay, so it takes a lot of strength and it's something that you work up to, right? So I first learned with those two points of contact, eventually I graduated to the one arm. So just know that might be part of your journey and your learning process with this. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Please leave any questions or comments below. I would love to hear from you and thanks so much for being here.